Ruby Captivate 9 lets you easily create software simulations in Show Me, Try It and Test Me mode. Let's take a look at the workflow. To create a software simulation, go ahead and double click the software simulation icon on the welcome screen. Select the screen area or the application you wish to record. Here, let's go ahead and select the PowerPoint presentation. You can select whether you want to record the application window, application region or custom size. Also, you can decide whether you want a show me demonstration, a try it training or a test me assessment. You can also decide whether you want to enable panning and record narration for your simulation. You can also decide if you want system audio to be recorded during the simulation. Once you've changed the settings, go ahead and hit record. It will give you a counter 3 to 1 and after that whatever action you do on the screen will be recorded by Captivate. I'll go to design and select one of the designs. I'll go ahead and change the color and then I will go to insert. Let's add a shape here. I'll go ahead and select a rounded rectangle and draw the rectangle on the stage. That's all I wanted to record so I'll go ahead and hit the end key. This will create three different projects for me for demonstration, assessment and training. Let's see how this training simulation looks like. We'll go to preview and project. Notice how this simulation pauses and waits for me to do some action. If I hover close to the design button, it shows me the hint message. If I go ahead and click it, it takes me to the next step. If I go and hit some other button on the screen, it will show me a message and prompt me to click the right button. I'll go ahead and click the right button and it will take me to the next step. Let's close the preview and see how we can edit the objects generated by Captivate. Here you can see there is a click box added on top of the design button. If you wish to increase or decrease the size of this button, you can easily do that or even reposition it. You can also change the look and feel of these captions that are generated. Just go ahead and double click the caption. If you wish to change the text, just select it and change the text in the caption. You can even change the fill and stroke for this shape text that has been added. If you want it to be pink, you can change it and in one go you can change it for all the other hint captions that have been added by clicking this drop down here next to style name and clicking save changes to existing style. This will allow you to have all the hint captions in pink color. Once you are done with all the changes, you can go ahead and hit publish and select publish to your computer. Here, you can either publish your simulations in a Swift format or HTML5 format or both. So go ahead and create some stunning simulations using Adobe Captivate 9.